Welcome to All Sound is Music on Rarity Rock Radio. I'm your host, Mark Taylor, and for the next hour I'll be playing selections of ambient, electronic, and experimental music. I've got a lot of spacey ambient music for you this month, along with a few melodic, rhythmic pieces. The show starts off with a piece from Fa X Optum, who self-describes as a post-electronic artist living in the gray drizzle of Scotland. Optum is the musical alias of Wesley MacDonald, and his work reminds me of fellow Scottish electronic musicians, Boards of Canada. That will be followed by Ghostwriting Part 1, from famed Canadian artist Tim Hecker. Hecker has toured with Godspeed You Black Emperor and Sigur Ross, and in 2011 won the Juno Award for Electronic Album of the Year. Ghostwriting is from his breakout debut, Haunt Me, Haunt Me, Do It Again. Then is John Rader Holmes, with Following the Light of the Sun. Holmes uses modular synthesis and treated guitars to make his beautiful brand of ambient dreamscapes. Let's get the music started. Thank you. 
That was Hiroshi Yoshimura with Time After Time. Heavily influenced by Brian Eno, Yoshimura began his career in the early 70s, composing computer-based music, and he quickly became one of the most important ambient artists in Japan. He composed music for train stations, buildings, museums, and galleries. In fact, the piece you heard is from a 1986 album, which was commissioned by a home builder as a musical amenity to enhance the company's newly built living spaces. Next up, a piece by Michiru Aoyama called Kana. Aoyama has made a name for himself by releasing about 20 minutes of music every day for the past several years. It started as a way of dealing with COVID isolation, but he now describes his daily music making as a form of mindfulness meditation. That will be followed by the Guru Tael II from Mini Componente, the musical alias of Paula Zustovic. This track is from a concept album, a tribute to Amy Payne, an Argentinian singer of indigenous origin. In her liner notes, Zustovic talks about the themes of identity, colonization, and culture. Let's get back to the music.
That was Beautiful Field from Massimo Vivona. Born in Sicily, Vivona cites Pink Floyd, Kraftwerk, and Mike Oldfield as huge influences. He got his start DJing at age 11. Upon reaching adulthood, he moved to Germany, where he made contact with electronic music pioneer Peter Namluk and established himself on the electronic dance music scene. In 1995, he founded Headzone Records to distribute cutting-edge electronic music to the world. Before that was The Pathway from Sven Kostler. The German musician's album, Double Standard, was voted the best electronic album of 2022 by an organization of collectors, record label owners, producers, and other members of the electronic music industry. Well, that's it for this month's show. I hope you found a new musical obsession this month. Join me again next month for another dive into vintage and contemporary experimental ambient and electronic music. You can listen to archived copies of this and past shows on YouTube. Go to bit.ly slash allsoundismusic. Thanks for listening. I'm Mark Taylor. That was All Sound is Music, and this is Rarity Rock Radio.